All right, so with me today, I've got Colin from Valdosta State. Colin, if you could just kind of introduce yourself, what is, uh, I guess, the rest of your name and your position? So my name is Colin Walker. Uh, I'm an assistant professor uh, at Valdosta State University in our mass media program. Uh, but I teach uh, a class called Sports Workshop, and we produce games uh, with our athletic department. Um, I also assist our creative services team at our university as well uh, with directing games. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so we're going to take, uh, and if you have the clip there, uh, we're going to take a, you know, kind of talk through this play that you guys that has made it to the championship round. If you could kind of give me an idea of what you, what you remember about this clip. This is an interesting time um, in our athletic season because uh, this game occurred uh, only about a week after uh, on Friday, uh, well, no, on Thursday, February 6th, um, we had a huge storm come through Valdosta, wiped out all the powers. We had to cancel the basketball game and the next day play a game with almost no fans in the arena on Friday, uh, February 7th. So this was like the first kind of normal game with the fans all back and everything. Um, and the team was riding uh, a big winning streak. Uh, as I'm looking back, the result of this game was 105 to 74. Uh, so this this moment um, with this alley-oop uh, from, uh, let's see, DeMarcus 80 to uh, Tyler Edwards, uh, this got the crowd going. Uh, the cool part about this was this was probably the second or third game where we really started using the instant replay system because uh, we sort of discovered it by accident because uh, we didn't start using um, Blue Frame until uh, the start of January uh, because we were using a different platform and we kind of wanted to get onto the same page with the rest of the conference. Uh, so um, this was one of honestly, many alley-oops throughout the season. That was kind of one of the fun things about this team was that uh, there were big dumps in the complex. And uh, I mean, it, it makes everybody go crazy. And I mean, the fans loved it uh, as well. Uh, just big moments. And I mean, it, it exploded on Twitter when I posted it during the game as well. Uh, so we kind of found that the just using this replay system in general and giving out social media, I mean, even, Unfortunately, Mike can't be here today, but even Mike would come up to me after the game and be like, Colin, do you have, do you have any, any more clips for us? He's like, did you get some of those big moments during the game? And I was like, Mike, they're already out there. People are already tweeting about it and everything. Uh, even the players' parents were picking up on it too. So uh, it was a really cool way to kind of build a community element. Yeah, that's great. Uh, that's obviously exactly what we want you to be able to do with, with production tracks. So that's a great plug for production tracks. Um, yeah, and like you said, you know, you guys have had a handful of, of highlights, uh, including a lot of alley-oops. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously just a lot of big athletic guys. Is that something that you guys push a lot of? I mean, I, I was going to ask, you know, um, Coach Mike about this, but, you know, is that something that's pretty common throughout for you guys? I mean, I know for, uh, for people that are watching, that seems like a special moment that just happens. But, I mean, it seems like you guys have a lot of big athletic guys and really push the ball up the floor. Yeah, so we, a lot of times in the past, um, so I've been producing games uh, at Valdosta State since 2013, and I've noticed the players just kind of getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And one of the things that I've found is Coach Helper is good at recruiting transfers from other schools. Um, so I'm kind of going through the roster right now and noticing, uh, for example, that, let's see, like Tyler Edwards was a transfer from Fort Valley State, which is in our region. Um, they're not in our conference, but they're within our region. Uh, and he finds these players and a lot of them, uh, they enjoy getting to play on a bigger stage. Uh, they love getting to play in the complex. Um, but I mean, yeah, they're big guys. Uh, I, I want to say the other day, uh, Mike had a tweet go out that he's, I want to say he's had either 16 or 18 players go and play professionally now, um, whether it be domestic or overseas. Uh, so he's really developing these players and giving them an opportunity to actually get to play beyond their college days, um, which I know some of them are gearing up to do that, uh, actually, um, since they just officially graduated uh, earlier in May. That's cool. And obviously the alley-oops always draws a lot of attention, so that's good for uh, for getting their names out there and for uh, for getting some scouts' attention. Yeah, absolutely. 
So to quickly uh, change gears a little bit from a production standpoint, what do you guys typically do for a, for a basketball setup? What's your production look like? So for a basketball setup, um, typically we use about four cameras. Uh, we have one behind each one of the hoops, and then we have a uh, wide and hero um, that are towards mid court. Um, and we're, we're typically on the side with the benches. Uh, we're operating off of a TriCaster system as well. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, we're in a 1080 HD operation uh, with our HD cameras. Uh, I'm trying to think. We have people operating each position. Um, in some instances, the stu well, actually, no, I'm thinking about it. the students will operate all the cameras, um, whether it be our creative services team working on it, which consists of mass media students for the most part, or it's my class that's operating it. Um, the students typically will do the technical directing on the TriCaster. Um, in some instances, I'll direct. Uh, in other instances, students will direct depending on the day and how big of a crew that we have. Um, the unique part is that we're not just operating the game production that's streaming. We are actually operating the entire in, uh, in arena experience as well as so we're operating the big screens at the same exact time, uh, which makes fun times when it comes to communication about that because we're kind of huddled into kind of a corner of the arena. Uh, so people can't see exactly where we are uh, on purpose. Uh, but but yeah, I mean, it's mainly student-driven operation. Uh, I just kind of get to help guide along the way. Uh, and it's a lot of fun getting to see that with a lot of our students going on to bigger and better things. Uh, for example, we have one student recently who's now the director of creative content for the athletic department at Winthrop University. Um, so we're, I'm, I'm really proud of the sports program um, within our mass media major uh, and it's, it's helped students, even if they haven't gone on to sports, go on to bigger and better things in their careers. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's cool that you guys have it's a student letter. You know, it's very heavily student driven. Yeah. Um, you know, that obviously sets up the program real well because you can constantly have people, uh, you know, learning new skills, sending them off with new skills um, and obviously growing the whole program. So that's really cool. Yeah, I mean, even Mike would, even like, for example, a good story just about Coach Helfer is Mike, I remember a year ago, he just let the students have shoot around. And he, he was the one throwing the balls back to him and even having the players go out there with him just to kind of show the fact the players and the coaches are even appreciative of what we're doing. So there's a little bit of them giving back as well. That's a really good idea. That's cool. Um, I am going to have to bleep out that you said the word TriCaster, but we'll go, we'll get us move past that. <laughs> So just to, you know, kind of go through the, the replay and the social media setup. So you guys have all your feeds coming in through that TriCaster and mm -hmm. then going to production truck to stream and then clipping social media there? Yeah, so I have basically um, the video coming out of our uh, switcher unit and then going into the computer. And then from there, um, I'm making decisions on what to stream and not to stream while doing the graphics. And then that's remotely uh, also sending the instant replay feed that you guys all have now for the official video review. Um, I wanna actually say this might be one of the first games where we had that too. Um, and the cool part was uh, we did find, I wanna say that official video review uh, component when we got it added on, it did make a difference in a few games this season. Uh, so we were really ecstatic when that started to work, uh, especially because our conference was requiring, requiring it for uh, postseason tournaments as well. Um, which we hosted our first postseason game, uh, which thankfully we won uh, inside the complex. Nice. Did it swing it your way, or did it swing it the other opponent, the opponent's way? I will say it swung it our way. Um, <laughs> I, I will. I mean, even the opponents were like, "You guys have this," and we're like, "Yeah." I mean, we've been uh, we've been testing this uh, for a while now. Uh, but we're really looking forward to using it in future sports seasons um, and maybe even into football as well as we expect the NCAA to probably require that in the near future. Great. Yeah, that's that's great to hear. Obviously, we love hearing new, um, you know, good news about OVR working out in the field. Anything else you want to add? I, I think that's all I have. But anything else you want to add in terms of uh, your setup or, or the great basketball team at Valdosta State? Yeah, I mean, I would say it's been so much fun with this basketball team. Um, I really appreciate the sense of community around here, uh, here in Valdosta, Georgia. And for those of you guys who don't know, we're 
We're about 20 miles from Florida, uh, so we're pretty close to Florida State and Tallahassee. Um, I really want to say I'm proud of the Blazer Athletics community and our supporters um, through this contest. Uh, it's been amazing to see the support early on when we were just kind of throwing out random tweets and now we're trying to be a lot more orchestrated with what we're doing here in the finals. So we're kind of hoping to bring another title to Titletown USA as we were dubbed by ESPN um, a while back. Uh, so we're really excited and we really appreciate Blue Frame. Um, you guys have been really helpful troubleshooting things along the way too. And we look forward to continuing this partnership. Awesome. Well, thanks, Kyle. I appreciate you uh, you uh, jumping on this call and, and you know, I love hearing the good things that you, that's happening over at Valdosta State, especially if it's if it uh, includes Blue Frame helping you guys out. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, take care. Stay safe and healthy. Perfect. Thanks, Colin. All right. Thank you.